We have this Google Pixel 6 Pro received from another shop with power problem. Now if you take a look I have my DC power supply screen there and we have the battery connector here. So what I want to do I want us to inject 3.9 volt to the battery terminal to check as you can see that's what we call a small current leakage. Those who have gone through my professional level course they will know about that particular reading and exactly where to troubleshoot. So you learn all that in my course. If you take a look, you will see I'm drilling this particular section. What I'm actually doing here, I just want to create a hole right there so that I can be able to remove this shield. So after removing this shield, you will see the particular circuit and I will explain exactly why I went straight to this circuit after seeing that reading on my DC power supply. So if you take a look, you will see we have this circuit right here and this is the charging circuit. So that small current trigger, most cases, it's been caused by the, 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 the VPH line. So what I do here, if you take a look, we have the, the charging IC right there. And I'm going to use my multimeter right here. That's my multimeter screen so that you will take a look. Send my multimeter to continuity test mode. And I test the input, which is the VBAT of the charging IC. So after checking the inputs, you can see it's okay, the reading is okay, and I check the output, which is the main power supply, VPH. As you can see, that's a short, you can check the ohm reading in the multimeter. So that small current trigger is being caused by the VPH line. In this case, not in all cases, but in most cases, it's the VPH line. As you can see, these bigger capacitors also are giving a zero ohm reading, a low ohm reading, which means that there is a short. In the VPH line. So what we are going to do now, we are going to use our uh, rosin flux. This is what I use in most cases to when I have a shot in a mobile PCB. So that's my uh, power supply screen. I set the current to five, then the voltage to three point five. That's what the VPH line has in most cases. In most cases, it steps down the, the V bar voltage to three point five, three point six. So I step it down. So you can see that's my power supply probes and what we are going to do we are going to inject that voltage into the vph line keep in mind inject the voltage to the vph line in the positive side of the capacitor as you can see and here we go we have the bad capacitor right there we are going to remove it to see if any other component is bad remove that just like that and there's more if you want my courses that's my number right there on the screen just copy send me a message then i will send you information about my course which is what you want so now i send my multimeter again to the continuity test mode to test the vph line as you can see that's a correct reading no short anymore check that's a correct reading that's a correct reading so there is no short here i went back to the battery connector using my this power supply to check if there is any current leakage again and that's a perfect reading so let's see yeah, just mount the screen and test see if we solve this problem. Who needs to, to charge, connect it on charge, then we see how everything goes. Okay, just like that and very smooth, the phone is on. Kindly like the video and follow for more amazing videos.